For those of you who are taking, listening, and speaking, this task involves choosing an object around the house, one that has a specific special story for you or maybe a member of your family, maybe even a, a family friend. I'd like for you to choose something that uh, is small enough for you to show in the frame, in, the, in your camera. I'm showing you an object that I'm going to describe here in a few minutes as, a, as an example. But I'd like for you to choose something, again, that has a special story in your life, maybe something interesting, special, that you would like to share with others. All right, to provide some context, I'm going to uh, show you a map. And remember, last week I talked about using DuckDuckGo and using the bang, the exclamation mark, maps. And then I'm going to type in the town where I was from, DeSoto, Missouri. Now, to provide you some context here, I'm going to scan out here, zoom out, and this will show you a general location of the very small town where I grew up. You'll notice that the town DeSoto is located pretty much right in the middle of the country in the United States, and I'm currently located here in Mexico in the center part of, of Mexico. So this toy here, this was given to me when I was a young boy, probably 35 years ago at least. And you'll notice that the paint no longer is on the object, right? Uh, it says here, Mexico, you can see that, right? Kind of a very traditional toy that was purchased some 35 years ago from a family friend. Okay, so this... A uh, family friend used to love to go to Mexico. In fact, every year she would go and vacation to Mexico. She was a teacher, just like my parents. And uh, we grew up knowing her, and uh, she really enjoyed going to Mexico every year. Subsequently, she ended up retiring uh, in Mexico, just as my parents did as well. And... So anyway, this toy here is one of the, in fact, that I can remember the only toy as a young boy uh, that I brought to Mexico from the United States. I've been living in Mexico now for over 20 years, and uh, just a few things that I still have here at the house uh, that I brought over from the United States. You'll notice here, too, that we had a dog growing up, and this dog used to love this toy, as you can tell. So you can see here, I'm still not very good at this. You would think after 35 years, I would be able to uh, do this a little bit better. But unfortunately, I'm still not very good. But you see the object here is to try to get the little ball into the basket. But anyway, this is what I wanted to share, this little toy. If anyone knows the name of this toy or any historical background, um, I should know more about it. In fact, I'm, I'm going to try to learn more about it after having had the toy for so long. But I did want to share this with you. This is what I chose, something around the house that has a particular interesting meaning in, in our lives and my family's lives. And I'm interested in hearing your story, your object, seeing what it is that has an interesting story. It'd be nice to be able to see the object and hear your story behind it. Uh, please keep your stories to one minute to one minute and a half. And again, I look forward to hearing your stories.